That's my goal. <laughs> All right. I'm going to record this session. I just hit the record. Fantastic. Part. Are we starting? Yeah. Hi. So, hey, hey, everyone. I want to um, introduce Rabbi Elisa Capel, who's going to be leading us today. So big thank you um, to you for, for joining us. We're really happy to have you. And I'm going to put on my apron so that my Vosh t-shirt doesn't get all full of flour. My, my nice PJ Library apron. Thank you, for, thank you, PJ Library, for giving me free things. Um, uh, Ryan is celebrating his birthday with home and passion baking. That is a fabulous way to celebrate a birthday. So you all have the ingredients, I believe, and I see lots of people ready, ready for some baking. I see another PJ Library apron on. Awesome. All right, I have already put the butter in the bowl, as you can see, and I'm going to add the sugar. So everyone, take the butter, add the sugar. And we're going to cream it. Um, I'm going to do that with an electric mixer. You can do it with your hands. You could do it with a kitchen aid. You can do it with an electric mixer, whatever works for you. Um, and this is going to be loud, and I apologize for that. No, I'm just, just mix up the butter and the sugar. And you want to get it so that it's all mixed together. Combine the butter and the sugar. Hold on, I can tell you how much of each. Um, two sticks of butter and two cups of sugar. Mixing them all in a bowl with whatever you want to mix it with. Um, I recommend, I find that it doesn't get mixed well enough if you just use a spoon, but you could use your hands. I'm using an electric mixer. You can also use a kitchen aid. You see the butter kind of gets a little chunky. Sorry, just to clarify, this is the the sugar and the butter, right? Yes, the sugar and the butter. And the noise Thanks. will be done in a minute. Up some of those butter chunks. All right, that should be good enough. All right, I'm actually going to use my hands. I'm going to mix it together a little bit extra just to make sure it's all in there and it's all gooey. And now my hands are full of is sugar. It on the mixer? Is Which it is not a bad thing? Is it supposed to be creamy or like a dough? Um, at this point, it's not really either. You can see in the bowl, it's kind of partly creamy and partly chunky. It'll become creamier. Can you show us your bowl? You can see my bowl. There should be a picture of a bowl pinned. It says oh, wait, it has my I name. See it. It. You oh, see it? Okay. I, let me get that. Oh, okay. You see, it's I have a magic ability to be in two places at once. In one of them, I look like a bowl, and the other, I look like me. Mom, she's using her hands. All right, so it should be kind of like she's using your hands. If you smush it up enough, it should kind of come together. That's what hers looks like. That's what mine looks like. Of course, it's ready. All right, once it looks kind of like that, and I'm going to rinse my hands off because they now have butter on them. Of course, it's ready. All right. Now. Once we have put in that, we are going to put in the liquid ingredients. So that's two eggs, a third of a cup plus one tablespoon of orange juice and one tablespoon of vanilla. And dump that all in. I pre-measured it. Dump that into the bowl. And now I'm going to move to a spoon and mix it all together. That's two eggs, third of a cup plus one tablespoon orange juice and one tablespoon of vanilla. Put 
blend that in. Again, you can use a KitchenAid for this. It works fine. I'm gonna end up using my hands in a little bit again anyway. Ooh. Just bumped my, my bowl cam. All right. I'm actually gonna use, I'm gonna use the electric mixer again for a minute. So I, again, apologize for the loud noise. What, what do we add after we add the vanilla, the egg and the orange juice? Um, mix it together. Yeah. Mix it together. It should look something like that, where it's it's pretty it's a pretty slightly chunky but solid thing. And then after that, we're gonna put in the flour and the baking powder. So that's one teaspoon baking powder and five. I've been doing five cups of flour, and then we can always add flour later. So dump the flour in. Put the flour in. So five cups of flour and one teaspoon baking powder. No, because we're gonna do it with the mixer. Okay. Yeah. And mix that all together. Two. Need to put the camera on a higher shelf next time. <laughs> Keep bumping it. Two. And mix that all together. If you're using a KitchenAid, this won't take long at all. If you're not, It'll take a little bit longer, but it will taste just as good in the end. Okay, sorry, I just got to the point where I put in the uh, orange juice and the vanilla. What was the other? What was the next step? Um, and the eggs. The eggs. Okay. And then, and then mix it all together. Okay. And, and then once flour. it's mixed, once it's mixed together, then put in the flour and the baking powder. 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 Okay. Thanks. Sure. Everyone, feel free to have questions. I'm trying to keep an eye on all of you and on the chat. Um, but if I don't notice, because I'm trying to keep my eye also on my baking, you can always unmute yourself and ask questions. I'm going to finish this off with mixing it with my hands. It's really our hands are the best mixer. And it's way more fun this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start mixing it by hand again. Put all the flour in. Ooh, it's nice. Yeah, it has a great consistency. And once it's mixed together, you should be able to get it into kind of a ball. So start like kind of working it into a ball type shape. So after the liquid, we put in baking soda and the flour, all yes. of the flour. I would do five cups and see how it is. Um, if it's if it needs more flour, you can add the six cup. It's fun to see everyone baking. It's fun to bake together, even online. Yeah. All right, and once it's mixed, it really should come together into a dough, which is our goal. Into dough. And into a nice ball of dough. You just turned off your camera. Now I'm going to... Wait, did um, I lose? You oh. just turned off your camera. I was going to say, I turned off my, hold on. There we go. Um, actually, I'm going to. You know what you might want to do, actually, cut that No, I don't have that. Okay. You might lose the bowl cam, but that's okay. All right. I'm now going to. Sprinkle some flour onto the counter and dump the dump the dough onto it. And I'm going to take the the extra like crumbs that didn't quite mix in yet and put them in. I'm going to throw the bowl in the sink and mix that together a little bit more so that everything's there. It's also easier to roll it when it's in the plastic. All right. I'm gonna do this. And now comes the fun part. 
Is everyone ready for the fun part? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, fun part is where my apron falls down. All right. Take a rolling pin. Quick, quick question. Yeah. I'm a little behind. That's okay. Um, no problem. Um, well, after you mix in the flour, is that when you you roll it? Sorry. I, um, I after you mix in the flour, mix in the flour, mix it up so that it becomes like a ball of dough. And then you do not have to heat the butter. Someone asked, you don't have to heat the butter, but if it's softened, it's easier. But like, you don't want it melted. Then we're going to roll out some, some dough. It's not sticking. Yeah, it's sticking a little. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. You don't want it too thick. You don't want it too thin. About like eight to a quarter of an inch thick. Ooh, now I'm going to get flour all over my parents' kitchen floor. All right. And then take a cup or something okay. round, and we're going to make circles in the dough. Ava, you have to roll it all the way down. <laughs> and I'm going to suggest that we make just keep making circles and stack them up because they should actually stack nicely. I can mix the stack again. Oh, that one broke. Remember when we made the pop? Yeah, they, if the circles one. don't work or if they stick or anything, you can always just um, put them back in the dough like those did. I clearly need more flour on my counter. Yeah. If the dough is sticking to the flour, add more flour to the counter. Can I clarify a tablespoon of vanilla? Tablespoon of vanilla. And, um, I, I apologize that my family are Patriots fans. I'm using a Patriots glass. Can you repeat the next directions for the flour? Mix, okay, flour, put the flour and baking powder in, mix it all together until it forms into like a ball of dough and then roll it out or put it on the counter um, with flour, put flour on the counter, put it on top of the flour um, and then roll it out. You can see I am making a stack, you can't see because it's off camera, um, a stack of circles of dough, which we will eventually form into hamatasha. It's helpful to put some um, flour also on the, on the rolling pan, just so that doesn't stick. Yeah. How's everyone doing? Good. Alexa, read notifications. What are the notifications? Do we stack them or just? Or uh, stacking them is the easiest thing to do. But if you want to put them on a pan, that's fine too. What? But I'm literally putting all of mine in a pile. If you have more than one person in your kitchen, um, you can have someone who's taking the circles and putting them out on a pan, just right onto the pan. It's kind of in rows. The nice thing about homentation is that they do not really spread or rise. 
So just fit as many on the pan as you want to. You don't want to crowd them too much, but. And then just keep, after you make a bunch of circles, just form the dough again. Get this Velcro fixed. And then just keep rolling it out and adding and making more circles. Oh. Right. That's why you need flour. I love the smell of this dough. What did you do? No, this is, so I got this recipe from a synagogue where I used to work where the teenagers, the youth group would sell hamantashen by the dozen every year for Purim. And before I got there, the teenagers made all of the hamantashen. I kind of spread it out between different groups in the synagogue. Um, and I, I'm talking hundreds of dozens of hamantashen. So this recipe was made to be easy, doable by teenagers and able to make a ton. We actually, this is actually the half recipe. That's the half recipe? <laughs> because the whole recipe makes way too many homentoshin for any normal size family. All right, we're almost done with the circles. I hope these are thin enough. It's, it, it's better if they're too thick than too thin. It is? Yes. If it's too thin, they'll fall apart. But if it's too thick, then it's just fine. You just have more cookie there. <laughs> so if you're not sure, err on the side. That means it, if, you're, if it's going to be one way or the other, too thick is better. Okay. I always thought it would be better for it to be thinner because it would be easier to like into a frying bench. Yeah, I mean, if it were like super, super thick, then it probably wouldn't be as good, but a little I, bit, like some of mine are thicker than others and they're, they should I've be. made tarts and they were super hard because they were thick. Ah, uh, th this recipe, I've never not had them come out soft. Can I ask a question? Once you have everything together, can you talk about uh, once you put it on the rolling, rolling it out? Wait, repeat the question. Sorry. Once we we're up to the, we're behind you a little bit. Okay. So mix everything in the bowl. So can you tell us what to do? Okay. So sprinkle some flour. Once it's once it's mixed into like a dough ball, or put it into a ball shape. Put flour on the counter, and then roll out the dough. And then take a glass or anything circular and make make circles. Are you down here? Which you can either stack or put right onto the baking sheet. I'm having issues with that's my not, apron. That's not adorable. That's not enough. Is there anything else that I couldn't have to go in here besides? Uh, the other good thing about this recipe, if you ever make it again, yeah. As well, it does not have to be refrigerated. The dough refrigerates really nicely. So so if you ever want to make the dough ahead of time or make half one day and half another day, it's a great recipe for that. All right, I'm just going to consider the rest. I'll make a couple more. And then I'm going to call it discard dough. Evan, do you want to ask Evan? Ask up the dough. Evan, do you want to ask Is the dough supposed to be crumbly a little bit in the bowl? Um, let me see it. Uh, is that, all? that should be fine. If you put, dig your hands in and mush it together and it should mush into a dough. I was like, mine was crumbly. If you use your hands, the warmth from your hands kind of melted okay. all together. <laughs> All right, this one does not want to come out. There we go. All right, I'm going to declare the rest of this discard dough. To, for those ready, we can start to move on to the next step, especially if you have multiple people in your kitchen and different people can have different jobs. So we take that was beautiful. a pan that was beautiful. and put, the, put all the circles on it. Put 
put it on. Yeah, just put the circles right on the pan. Um, doesn't don't you don't have to worry about them spreading or anything. You can like put them closer together than you would put like chocolate chip cookies. All right, and I'm. I'll get another pan ready. This is like super thin. All right, so we're going to do this one. They said before, if you have to choose between super thin and super thick, thick is better. This thin tends to fall apart. Yeah. And just put them all onto a pan. However, the, however they fit. Keep in mind they're going to get smaller. As you're going to pinch them. All right. I'm going to give everyone a minute to start laying them out or to, to catch up to that. Picking them off. Okay. And I'm gonna suggest, and I forgot to put this on the ingredient list. I'm gonna suggest that everyone get a small dish of water. This is the trick to home and Tasha not opening in the oven. A small thing of water. There might be. Oh, you know, it might be. It might be from the egg, actually. Yeah, I think I had the egg. I think I had the egg. Yeah, I think I had the egg. Oh, you had it. Starting with the tip. Oh, is it? Had a minute. So we're going to have to do a second pan. I'm going to go. It's not many. It feels so good in my hand. <laughs> it is a fun <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm gonna add just um, my my dough made about 36 homotoshin, just to have a sense of what the like how many there should be based on thickness. The mine are about like that. This one is actually perfect. That is the perfect. Use this camera. Mm -hmm. That that is the perfect. Mm -hmm. One, at least for now. All right. All right, raise your hand virtually or physically if you are ready to start filling them. Or do we need another minute? Um, can I have one more minute? Every, yep, you can absolutely have one more minute, no problem. Thank you for asking so nicely. Anyway, that's good. Don't go any further. What? What You're good. You said you were rolling out. And I so for filling while while you're all rolling out, I have raspberry. I have some apricot ginger that I made last year. Ooh. That is still good. Like I took dried apricots, put some ginger in, looked up on the internet how to make jam and did that. I have some hot pepper jam because I happen to like hot pepper and I think the, oh. I like hot and sweet together. And as I said before, not everyone was on yet, I have Israeli chocolate spread. I have never tried using Israeli chocolate spread, um, but it has been recommended. It's so good. I mean, I love Israeli chocolate spread as a food to eat. I've never put it in hamantashen, but I've heard it works. Uh, um, I've heard Nutella works. Yeah. Nutella definitely uh, works. Nutella is so good. And chocolate chips work okay, but they don't really melt, so they tend to just be hard. I mean, which is good because chocolate chips are delicious, but yeah. Oh, if you also want chocolate chip, I, I also am a fan of like raspberry with chocolate chips in it. Quick question, quick question. Yes. Uh, I'm on the making the circles part. Right. Um, uh, do I put that on a greased baking pan? Can I use pan? You do not have to grease the great baking pan, just put it on the baking pan. Put it on, okay, thanks. And, and if you want to, you can like make all the circles and stack them and then put them on the pan. But you do not have to grease it. You do not have to use parchment paper. 
I mean, you could, but you don't have to. I'm going to dough off my hands. <laughs> And really you can use anything for filling. Um, I've done baked brie home and for, for grown up friends. Um, I know there's a bakery in New York city that does savory home and every year. They do one that's like caramelized onion and potato. And I think they have a pizza one. Really, there are no rules to what you fill home and with. Um, if it didn't the whole have point around. is just like Purim is a holiday where where we hide behind masks and in the story esther hides who she is we have home and where it looks just like a cookie but the the filling is hidden within um also shaped like Haman's hat or Haman's ears depending on whether you're speaking hat. um yes just like just like the song my hat it has three corners which I assume they sing at your synagogue too, because there are only so many porn songs out there. All right, I see lots of rolling. I see lots of circles may being made. Nice. Karen has a great tray of fomentation. Fantastic. Perfect. Done. Um, should we start pinching them and stuff? All right, so here's the trick. If people are getting ready for that part, I don't want to rush people. I want to make sure everyone has time to catch up. Can I just um, ask a question? Yes. My dough is crumbling. What do I do? <laughs> um, stick your hands in and mix it up and it should be fine. Okay, thanks. And if not, add a splash more orange juice. Thank you. <laughs> But it looks like like if you mix it, like if you put your hands in the warmth of your hands and like the action of putting it together, it should be fine. It smells All right, so, so the trick, good. The trick to filling hamantashen is that however much filling you think you need, it's too much. You want like that a mini know. teaspoon. So like I have like, that's not a good example. So I, I have a teaspoon for the rash. Oh, actually first, before I get there. Trick one. Take a small dish of water, stick your finger in. I will repeat this a bunch of times for people who aren't up to here yet. Stick your finger in, make a, put along the edge of the homentashen, put water, like literally just stick your finger in and put water around the edge. It makes it stick better. Do a few at a time. And then take like not even a teaspoon and put it in the middle. like really a drop, um, that is really the trick to the home and passion not falling apart and oozing all over your tray. Mm -hmm. Making these for my family, so I'm allowed to lick my finger. All right, and then, actually I'll start with this one. Mm -hmm. Then to make the triangle, and again, I will repeat this a bunch of times if you're not there yet, take the circle, you've already put water around the edge, You've put a little bit of filling in the middle. Take your two fingers like this, pinch the bottom, then flip it and pinch the top, squeeze them together, and there you have a homotashin. I'll do it again. Do some water along the edge. Pinch the two, pinch the two bottoms, then pinch the top, and you have a triangle. They do not have to look perfect. Half of the fun is that they are imperfect. So again, take it, pinch the bottom two, so have part bottom two corners, pinch the top corner. There you go. Um, I'm gonna do the one, one that I already have Nutella in. Some raspberry, some some strawberry, some Nutella. You can actually put some of both. And again, put in very, very little filling. I'm going to break things now. 
So a teeny bit of filling. Water around the edge. Pinch the two bottom corners. Pinch the top corner. Pinch and pinch. The other good thing is once you make them into home intention, you get more room on the on the pan. So I can now add my pile that didn't make it. So water, I'm going to switch to, I'll do one more raspberry. Water, pinch, pinch. And while we're doing this, who can share with me, who is your favorite character in the poem story? Esther. Esther. I, I also, so I like Esther and Vashti. Esther is my Hebrew name. So I've kind of always liked Esther, but I also like Vashti. Who else has a favorite poem character? Um, what if for a few of them, you can't see the filling inside? You can't see, that's okay. Sometimes that's fine. You don't have to see the feeling inside. I'm not going to bother asking who everyone's least favorite character in the Purim story is because the correct answer to that question is Haman. Wait, 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 hold on. What do we do when we hear Haman's name? Ew. That, that was no. Haman. Boo. I bet you could. I bet you can all boo louder than that. Boo! Boo! Excellent. Would your think. least favorite also be Ahasuerus? He yeah, he's like kind of not very king. smart. He doesn't seem like a good king. Not a good king at all. Why? He's a good king. I mean, he ends up doing the right thing, but he he's not very smart in his decision making. And he kills his first wife because she doesn't want to come to a party. Well, I thought yeah. she just walked away. Well, I, well women should have the right yeah, to do the, that. the text does not specify what exactly happens to Vashti. Some people, I like to think that she left and went on to have a much better life. Yeah. Um, but right, it couldn't have been much worse than being married to that king. <laughs> But the, I mean, the king in the in the end of the story, I think the king does do better, but he's still not a very good king. Yeah. Pick his wives by like a beauty contest. Very. Um, yes, for the still for the sake of the a number of children on this call, we will call it a beauty contest. Um, with a side note of it was a beauty contest. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make a couple chocolate. Actually, I'll do one more apricot because it's in the corner. Blueberry, really good in these. How's everyone doing? Good. For um, a few of mine, you can't really see the filling, but that's okay. That's okay, because uh, that's actually perfect. Because, like I said, part of why we do this on forum is that the filling is hidden. I thought it was supposed to be like Haman's hat. It's also Haman's hat. It has a lot of different meanings. Or in Hebrew, they're called Oznei Haman, which means Haman's ears, which I think is even sillier than Haman's hat. And honestly, so Purim is my second favorite holiday. I mean, I'd prefer to eat his hat. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, Purim is my second favorite holiday. My favorite is Passover, but I love Purim. Because it's a holiday where we get to be silly. And I think we don't, like, especially for adults, we don't get to be silly enough. And I think it's fun to have a holiday well, without that. having fun and putting costumes on and eating cookies. Mm. And it's really chocolate spread. It's just delicious. We're allowed to eat it? Well, we don't have depends on your family. This is basically chocolate spread. I'm just licking my finger because... My family and I share germs anyway.
Hey, you saw the Nutella. Sorry. I think I was even. Hey, for this chocolate. Might not be. Not another color. I don't know. Rabbi, have you ever made this in gluten-free version? Yes, I have. Um, when I ran a synagogue school, I did multiple versions of all things. Um, so this re this recipe works fine with gluten free flour. I have done it with the flour that's in like the plasticish bag that has blue on it. Um, the I don't know the name of the brand, but it works fine with gluten free flour. Also, if you have any egg allergies, the recipe works fine with applesauce instead of eggs. Applesauce. It's a good egg substitute. So part of the purpose of why you put eggs in recipes is that it helps it stay together and applesauce as a liquid and, and add more liquid and applesauce does the same thing. Hey, and like, you don't like, just like you don't taste eggs in things, you don't, if there's enough other ingredients, you don't really taste the applesauce. I think this one needs more. And really make sure, uh, triple check each one, make sure the corners are really well pinched and that should prevent them from opening up. This one definitely needs more Nutella. <laughs> this one needs more Nutella. Delicious. <laughs> All right, put this treat to the side. We're a little behind. Did you say a quarter of an inch thick or a half an inch? A quarter to an inch ish. Okay. Uh, err on the side of too thick rather than too thin. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no problem. What? And no problem. Everyone can bake at their own rate. Oh, I forgot about the water on this one. He said they wouldn't spread, right? So we can put them right. together. Right. Yeah. And keep in mind, when you put the circles on the pan, they're going to become smaller because they're going to become triangles. So they take up less area. Is that the right word? I did not do well in geometry in school. That was not my better math class. Um, Mom, she said not to add that much. She said yeah, right, a tiny bit of filling. Think is enough. Like, how that's right. Someone just quoted me. Yes, oh, the smallest amount, like half a teaspoon of filling, is like perfect. Maybe like three quarters of a teaspoon. <laughs> this is gonna be so tasty. Don't forget the water. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to experiment here. I'm going to do a little bit of chocolate spread and a little hot pepper jelly. Oh. Don't come someone else. Yeah. See how that works together. Oh, this is one of the thick ones. That one is not good looking. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. It will still be delicious. Mm -hmm. And then I push down so that way. Just like that. Why not? Go ahead, Eva. Under five minutes. Everyone's coming down, they're looking great. Mm -hmm. My apricot. Oh, sorry. My the battery on my cook cam just decided that it was no longer going to work. But I've done all the important parts of the recipe, so I can still explain how to do the things, and I can even do it on this camera if anyone needs. If anyone hasn't started shaping them yet, I'm. Happy to give a shaping tutorial. Mm -hmm. Way too much for them. I once had hamantashen with mini chocolate chips in the dough. 
Ooh. So I'm trying mm. to recreate that with a raspberry filling. That sounds Let's delicious. See if it is a fail. That sounds, that sounds amazing. It's always hit our do, do you egg wash these at all? I don't. Okay. You can. I know some people do. I don't. I remember there's my no, mom. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Okay. Trader Joe's pumpkin butter works really well. In these I've also wanted to try. I think it would be really good with the the cookie butter. Yeah. Trader Joe's. Uh, Basically all the Trader Joe's stuff. Basically anything from Trader Joe's. Um, and I just learned Trader Joe's just started making za'atar, which is a delicious oh, Israeli it's spice. It's a, it's, a, it's a delicious spice that I can't really explain. It goes well on everything and it's delicious and everyone should go buy some. <laughs> I love za'atar. I, I love it it's regularly. Really hard to find. So, I just so ordered it from Jamie Geller. Red, it's so hard to find. And the Trader Joe's looks like it's Israeli. I just ordered from Jamie Geller. Are you familiar with her? Yeah. She, and you could order on Amazon. She has her, oh, a new Israeli spice line. Good to know. Oh, my. This one's like. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I like will often come home from Israel when I get to go to Israel um, with like a kilo of za'atar. And halva. That's actually going to be my experiment of this year is I'm going to try halva. Come in touch. Oh no. See how that goes. But not today. That's a more long term goal. This is my first home and Tashin baking of the year. So I'm keeping it simple. Mom, can I have a little more Nutella? No, you have some of that. Don't fill up on Nutella now. You need to keep room for cookies. I need more Nutella. <laughs> Mom. Never too much Nutella. Mom, can you? How long do they go in the uh, oven for, they bake for? Okay, about 10 minutes. Here, it really them. depends on the oven. So I would say what, keep what an eye on them. What temperature do we bake them off at? I'm assuming they should be like a golden brown when done. Yeah, more gold than brown. Okay. Or brown. Um, I want to say home and fashion color, but that isn't really descriptive, I realize. What temperature is the oven supposed to be at? What temperature is it at? 350. Okay. And again, about 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Yum. Yeah. The is mine. Yum. <laughs> yeah. You're all gonna eat well tonight. Mm -hmm. Best dinner ever. It may or may not be dinner, but you will eat. <laughs> Yum. Actually, I'm going to do a couple chocolate raspberry. Mm. Can you press my foot? Can I do the dough? I want to taste it. Oh, I'm chocolate. That's fine. Uh, Daddy. Daddy. Thank you, Rabbi. I have to go back to work, but it's been great. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Enjoy the comment Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for joining us. So in one second, I will have put them in the oven. Again, it's about 10 minutes at 3.50. We'll find out when we put them in the oven. Perfect. All right, one more. 
<laughs> Here, get your mun. This was a lot. <laughs> What's up? Shira, did you get your mun? No. Come on now. Where do you even get it? <laughs> we just got the poppy seed I, I, I from the store. I tried buying poppy seed today. Yeah, we just got um, poppy seed right filling. Oh, and we added some honey go. and margarine. I need All to right. get some. I'm putting mine in the oven. Yeah. And as we wait, because waiting is not the fun part of cooking, um, I'm first going to take a glass of water because I'm thirsty. And it's always good to hydrate. Right, Eric, can you bring a bowl over I have a story to share called Vashti's Comfy Pants. Again, someone, did anyone get this with PJ Library this month? Comfy pants? Comfy pants. Comfy pants. Who has pants that are really, really comfy? Fussy pants. Probably wasn't wearing them a lot during the right. pandemic. I'm wearing fuzzy pants. Fuzzy, so are they comfortable? Uh-huh. Well, that Cookies means that they're comfy. Comfy is like- Cookies and milk. So, Vashti's Comfy Pants. Queen Vashki's comfy pants. In her rumpus room, Queen Vashki sat in comfy pants and a funny hat. <laughs> she played gin rummy all night long and sang her favorite silly song. And all Queen Vashki's friends were there in comfy pants and braided hair. They told Queen Vashki one by one, we've never had quite this much fun. How quiet it is without the boys. We're tired of their constant noise. Today we're free from itchy dresses and steering clear of spills and messes. Meanwhile, on the palace lawn, the king had danced from dusk till dawn. His party had stretched on for days. His mind was in a sugared haze. And now his friends were bored and blue. They'd plumb run out of things to do. We could play wiffle ball again, said all the king's advisors then. The king stood up and said, I know. Let's make the queen put on a show. Queen Vashti is just down the hall. I'll send a messenger to call. So just a little after four, a knock rang, rang out on Vashti's door. The messenger declared, I bring an urgent message from the king. Queen Vashti must at once come down in her finest dress and royal crown and dance for all the king's good friends until his royal party ends. Now hold it, Vashti scolded, freeze. Could he at least say thanks or please? Queen Vashti found this very rude. She did not like his attitude. She told the messenger, please go and tell the king that I said no. And if you could, please do explain. I have my friends to entertain. I will not don my royal crown or change into a fancy gown. I am not in the mood for da to dance for I am in my comfy pants. Why can't you just wear comfy pants under your dress? Because well, you didn't want to put the dress on. That's a very logical solution though. The king was shocked to hear the news. How could Queen Vashti dare refuse? This was to him a crushing blow, for no one ever told him no. The king's friends sneered and stood up straight. No king should have to sit and wait. Send word to Vashti's room and say, she must come down here right away. Make Vashti's friends come sing a tune and waltz beneath the harvest moon. And pour our tea and bring us sweets while we recline on velvet seats. That doesn't sound very fair. The, messengers, the messenger crept down the hall. He did not like this plan at all. He gently knocked on Vashti's door and whispered what the king asked for. Queen Vashti answered, sir, please go and tell the king that I said, no, you cannot tell me what to do. I'm royal just as much as you. 
These sweets are for my friends and me. It's not our job to pour your tea. We are not in the mood to dance, for we are in our comfy pants. The messenger slumped down the hall and braced himself against the wall. The king began to rage and fume and marched himself to Vashti's room. He pounded down Queen Vashti's door and stomped across the marble floor. The teacups trembled on their tray, but Vashti calmly looked away. And looking at the chat, um, about eight minutes, about 10 minutes, I set my timer for eight minutes in answer to how long to cook it. Um, Cause it depends on the oven, but eight to 10 usually works. You must come dance, the monarch cried. His face burned red with wounded pride. And I demand your friends come too, or I'll make mincemeat out of you. The queen's friends stood and hollered, no, we're happy here and we won't go. For we're not in the mood to dance and we are in our comfy pants. <laughs> the king's face twisted in a frown. You're done here if you don't come down. Have you forgotten who I am? Your choice is simple, dance or scram. Queen Bashi said, and that is that, and tip the brim of her funny hat. You cannot tell us what to do. So King, I think we're done with you. Queen Vashti took her suitcase down. She packed her jewels and royal crown and sturdy shoes and potted plants and seven pairs of comfy pants. She told her friends, please come with me. There's so much world out there to see. Her friends responded one by one. Together, we'll have so much fun. And they're all leaving the palace. So just a little after eight, the women stormed the palace gate. They left without a backward glance to conquer the world in their comfy pants. The end. Um, mm -hmm. All right, let's check on my I'm gonna conquer the world in my, hey. Out. So cook for about 10 minutes, maybe less, maybe more. Are they in mom? Yeah. Yay. Spray away so that I have room for the. I think that's a fun story about Vashti. Uh -huh. It's new. It came out like last week, written by Rabbi Leah Berkowitz. All right. Are everyone's home and and cooking? Yeah. I'm cleaning up the huge mess I made. That, that too. <laughs> yeah. Good mom, we yes. One Children. More. Help your parents clean up. It's the right thing to do. Bye. Our first batch is finished. It just has to cool down. It just has to cool down. Okay. Can I see? Can you show me them? Or not? Okay, I'll bring them I, yes, I can. No, you don't touch it. Stop. I'm going to go wash them. Ooh, they look delicious. Yeah, let them cool a little bit. We just took out our, we took out our holla a few minutes ago. Before. Yeah, how'd your holla come out this week? Good. Good. And one's chocolate chip. Ooh, I love chocolate chip holla. Really anything with chocolate is delicious. How do you know that they're done? Like I put it in for 10 minutes, the color didn't change or anything. They this is why I married dark. a chef. <laughs> if it, what? They don't really get that dark. It, if they look like home and Tasha are supposed to look when they're cooked, if that makes any sense. Like if they look like raw dough, they're not done yet. If they okay. look like cookie, they're done. There's a reason I married a chef. <laughs> <laughs> or you just touch them and if they're hard, they're good. Right. Okay. Or that just taste them. Yeah, yeah, mine are a little soft. Why? Right. There's four more minutes on mine. Don't have to okay. We need Holly too, which just rising. 
Oh, that's awesome. I most weeks I make challah. I didn't make challah today though. Because I was driving and then and then I was baking hamantashen. I forgot to choose. Emil had to go to Emil had a half day on Titus and I a whole day. I forgot to oh. myself. <laughs> Nyla, they're almost done. Ooh. Three more minutes. Oh, are you three in the same house? Yeah. Oh, huh, that makes sense. I just I just figured that out. Nyla, Nyla didn't feel like making home in Tashin. That's okay. Cold. Oh. Mama, do they look almost done? I'm gonna give it two more minutes. Yay. Mine are almost done. I can't speak for anyone else's. <laughs> but I bet some of you might be able to taste them at this point. Come on. And are smelling good. Oh, but they're smelling. Mine are smelling, smelling so good. Smelling. They are not done, but soon. Yeah, it really depends on the oven. Um, I have some Nutella. Um, fine. Mm. Why? For now, so the, today's the, the perfect day to bake Comentation, actually, because we just started the month of Adar, which is a month uh, where the month where we have Purim, the Hebrew month, not the English month. Um, um, on the English date, yeah. Um, when's Purim? The twenty of February. The twenty what? The twenty. I have no idea. It's the twenty something. Yes, you can fridge the extra dough. Thursday um, night, February twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. See, Thursday something. Night. I didn't know. I had to look it up. I knew it was two weeks away. Right. But it's um, never too yes, early to start making the extra dough. It actually keeps in the fridge really nicely. Um, I've kept it in the fridge for up to a week. One more minute. One more minute. That's so exciting. And then just like leave it out for like 20 minutes ish um, before you roll it again. Oh, good. I mm -hmm. thought you meant before you tried to eat it. No, no, no. Good. I, no, one, no one would ever be able to wait that long. That, that was if people want to, if people have extra dough that they want to keep in the fridge. Oh. For it to thaw? Yeah. They smell, they smell so good. They do, it's torture. I want to eat them all right now. Two more seconds. Yeah. But who's counting? Actually, I'm going to take my apron off. It keeps falling off anyway. But it might need a few more minutes because we only put it in for eight. Right. I did the same thing because I don't. So I, I'm at my parents' house right now and I don't bake that often in their oven. So I wasn't sure. I know it's 10 minutes in my oven, but I don't know about my parents' oven because every oven is a little bit different. That is something this, that you learn when you're in a Mama. This water trick really won because this is the first time I didn't end up with right, flat. The water thing oh, is like the trick. Yeah. It. It, Me too. Like, Mine are actually closed. Yep. <laughs> the the water thing is so simple and so effective. And doesn't change the flavor at all. I go, wait. Wait, Okay, one minute thirty. <sighs> Yum. Has anyone got has someone's came out of the oven, didn't they? Or did those people come out get off the call? I think they got off the call. Oh, yours are out of the oven? Yep, ours are, we're on to our second batch. I didn't have enough baking sheets. 
How, so have you tasted them yet? We have not. Okay. Some of them, um, I left the water trick to some people. So some are open. <laughs> gotcha. But right? So when I when I run farm carnivals, do you want to taste like to joke that yeah. Yeah. Th those are the ones that you get to eat right away because you can't serve them. Oh, they're they're going for it. Go for it. The 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 broken ones and the ones that are totally misformed are the ones that the, whoever made them gets to eat right away. I guess that's the nice thing about pandemic life. Like we're not doing anything like that. Work. Right, it's true. Whichever one you want. Right. What do you think? Both the nice thing and the not nice thing. Good. Mm -hmm. Our first batch is done. It's done. Awesome. Ooh. You have you look great. I you have any good. tricks for if they like stick together while they're baking? Them. Mm. Um, just pull them apart. <laughs> okay. Like there's no there's no trick to it. It's really just they're done. Separate. Again. They're stuck together. Separate. They're done. Oh, okay. Avery and Mila, how do yours taste? I just didn't even know. They're good. I see a thumbs up. Excellent. Eleven minutes. Another minute. And mine are baking pretty slowly. <laughs> Nutella is looking super melty. Mm. All right, that. All right, my lower pan is done. Mine are out. They're looking good. Yeah, you need to let them cool. Hi, Karen. You're muted. <laughs> Put them over a bit. They're ready for the third time. Yes, yeah, Two more minutes, and then I'm done. These yeah. are awesome. All right, I'm glad you're all enjoying your home fashion. I hope everyone has a fantastic Purim. Who, who here is dressing up for Purim? Well, what are you going to dress up as? As is always. Don't like see. That? Don't see mine. Uh -huh. Next week or two weeks. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for leading our hum and tash thank and you. Thank you all for coming. This was so much fun. This was super fun. Everyone, please. Um, everyone who's on our Facebook page, if you could post some pictures you. of your hum and tash and I'd love to see them. If you could send me some of those pictures, that would be great. I will. Thank I you. Will. Thank all you right, so thanks much everyone. Thank you. Thank you. It was so thank much fun you. baking with everyone. All right, have a great week, everyone. Shabbat shalom. Thank you. Thank Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Bye. Have a good weekend.